I'm Tony with Earth Files Earth History. Most of us who have been following the images taken by the rover or by the rovers since the program has started, we already know that NASA has deceived and lied to the public about actually what they're finding. And then, in fact, that they've airbrushed and, and corrupted a lot, of, a lot of stuff that show up in these images. So in this video, I'm going to prove that fact to you. The building that you're looking at right now actually extended way out here, and it's just because it deteriorates around the edges mostly and from the top. It's already deteriorated this far into the building. So what you're looking at is what is partially left of this building. But what's really fascinating is I found a glass. Well, they're glass tubes, but they're part of a, uh, I believe, part of a transportation system. So we're going to take a first look um, of these glass tubes, and you're going to have to give me just a few seconds because I'm going to make an adjustment as I take you over to that area, and it's going to be right in this part of the image. And I'm making the adjustments right now. Okay, you can start to see it right now. You can tell that this is glass here, and then there's a frame that supports it. Now I'm going to get this in closer, hopefully. And then there's a better image. And then you can see the glass, and then you can see the, the framework that supports it has to is has and, and still is deteriorating. Okay, here's a couple of black and white shots of it. Okay, in these next images, I'm going to show you where this had broken apart and where the other part of this glass tube tubing is. And then you can start to see it right here. It's just deteriorated and then broken and broken and separated. And there's a close up of it. And then you see still see the framework for that glass tube. Okay, I return to the to the building again. And right here it looks like this is part of the building that is solid. It's not. This is a cover-up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh uh, shift the phase of this image, and I'm going to open that area up, and we're going to get to look inside that building. Okay, I shifted it. And if you look right now, the build it opened up, and you're starting to see structures inside of it. I got to make some more adjustments so we can get it clearer. And then you get a better view of it right here. You can see the structures in here, the buildings, the 90 degrees. You see the A-frame. It looks like some type of tubing uh, right here. I mean, we don't know. But that's what it looks like. And there's other structures in the back. And there's something right here that looks like it's collapsing and falling forward. There it is in black and white. And then you can see uh, some type of deteriorated structures here on the bottom also, and some back in this area. And that'll be the last shot for this one here. 
This is really amazing. So our what we thought before were buildings, we actually now have our I have confirmed it. So there's no doubt about it now. Okay, I'm going to take you in a totally different area, and we're going to look at one of these uh, glass tubes again. And this area is not even close to the other area that we were looking at. So let's take a look at this one. And then here it is. I tried to make the adjustments, but they did too much touch up and cover ups on this. I could not um, get it any clearer, but you can see it has the same supports as the other ones does. This one has broken apart here and it's broken apart in this area. Then right directly across from it is, I'll call it an anomaly because I couldn't clear it up. Um, I know that they airbrushed this out for sure because when I made adjustments, this, this did not change at all. So apparently, these glass tubings or this transit system went underground and came up into these buildings and then went back down into the ground. Our next area that we're going to go into is right here. And this is quite a mystery, and you'll understand why in just a second. Okay, the first picture was the original. I shifted um, again out of phase. That's the reason this changed. Okay, I want you to notice something. It looks like somebody's standing up here and reaching up into this structure. And then here it is again, brought out a little bit better. Now this next picture is exactly what it looked like before I shifted it out of phase. There's what supposedly is his hand here, uh, his head. Okay, now the question is, did they cover it up? Or did when I shifted out of phase, it made it look like somebody's standing there? There's no way of knowing. It's just a mystery. In the last part of this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the construction of these buildings. And this was from the last video I did, so I'm just going to touch on it briefly because I'm sure that most of you have already seen it. This is a different area also. And what you're looking at in that image is rebar, which is this right here, which is laid down before you lay any type of concrete material to help support the concrete. And this is how to look. Uh, this is kind of how it would look when it was done before it was, has deteriorated. And we actually had real pictures of it. And then there's a close-up of it. And then there's a different perspective on the image. And I've worked around this type of construction for before, and this is exactly how we do it, and this is exactly how they have done it. The reason I show that to you is because in some of the videos, we or some of the images from the rover, we see what we call, or what they call, floating rocks. But these aren't actually flo floating rocks. These have the piece of that rebar, and when these uh, structures deteriorate it, some of the rebar is still stuck into it. So it's not actually floating. It's just connected to uh, a piece of the rebar that's probably underground here. Around these buildings, there's probably 10 or 20 or 30 feet of the building in these last two images, I'm going to explain to you the way I, I believe that these buildings were constructed. The rebarb that we looked at earlier, 
to re that reinforces concrete or some type of material like concrete earlier. They lay down the foundation first to support the weight of this building. Now here's a close-up of some of the material here are part, of, are part of a building. And after they built the foundation, they began to build it in layers. So what they probably did was they would build a frame and then put in some type of wire or support rebar, pour it with whatever material they were using, let it dry, and then keep building layers like that on top of each other. Now, I didn't have an image to show you, but there is uh, rebar running vertical up through all these structures that were put in before these were poured to help everything, help everything hold everything together. And I, I believe the reason for this is there was extreme weather um, on Mars at one time when this civilization uh, was active. So, for example, from an engineering point of view, um, our homes, most of our homes are constructed with two-by-fours. And, of course, they stand vertical, and any high winds or extreme winds um, can destroy buildings basically by pushing uh, the frame, which is vertical, over. But if you build something flat, there's nothing to push over. And then you can make the walls as thick as you want to. So uh, these buildings could withstand uh, any weather conditions. That's the reason I believe that the glass tubes run underground for transportation and come up into these buildings. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Please thumb up and subscribe. That helps my channel. This is Tony with Earth Files Earth History signing off.